Hello everybody and welcome to the third and final special offer of this weekend. This weekend has been a marathon of promos for me. I don't know that I've ever gone for two divines and separate items on the same weekend, let alone three like I'm going to do today. I did get last year's love divines on the same weekend, but those were both in hops so I don't really consider that a separate offer. Earlier this weekend, I won both of my love divines with 21 horns of plenty and I also won a Balios divine on level 7 of the Titans challenges. It only took me 11 TCs to get him, which I'm still pretty surprised about. So this time I'm going to open Golden Fleeces to win the Celtic Divine Angus, I believe is how you pronounce it. I wanted him when I first saw him on pre-prod because his design is really one of my favorites that we have and his hair pack gift is also very nice as well. But in anticipation of a potential Balios offer, I forego trading for fleeces in favor of Titan's challenges. Since Balios was much cheaper than I expected, I still have my Nyx pack and Themis scale combos in stock, which should give me enough fleeces with the times four dust multiplier I have. Also, if you're wondering how I managed all of these special offers on one weekend without using any passes, stick around to the end and I'll share some of my savings tips for you. So let's start opening fleeces. I can't actually open fleeces right away because I have to get some from my NYX pack theme is scale combos. I don't actually have any golden fleeces in stock as you can see and I don't want to touch any of my passes. I think with the times four dust multiplier you can get this divine within like 13 fleeces. I think it'll only take about 13 fleeces to max meter. At least I hope it does otherwise I'm in trouble because I don't want to use any of my passes on him. So to use a uh, Themis scale I've done this in a few other videos before but just to kind of briefly explain it. Click on the Themis scale. I want to trade a Nyx pack. That way then, because it's a 600 pass item, I can actually get three Titans challenges in return because those are all 200 passes. Actually, no, I don't, I don't want Titans challenges. I want golden fleeces. Oh my gosh. Okay. Golden fleeces. Got my golden fleeces. Let's go. <laughs> okay. That would have, that would have been really bad if I had gotten Titans challenges. I would have forced myself to open up more to get Baileys for that. Okay, let's see if I can get this divine from the fleeces itself. This isn't normally a very good item for me. So one star, I got 104 dust for that one. I am going to pick Achilles heel because that usually sells for quite a bit in the exchanges. So I'll take that. I guess the nice thing, what I one of the reasons why I prefer fleeces over Titan's challenges is that you can at least pick which item you get. However, I feel like sometimes the value is potentially better in the Titan's challenges because with this fleece here, this is a 200 pass item, but none of these items that I can pick from are worth more than, I don't think any of these is worth 100, 100 passes, but you know, and then even if you get two star fleeces, the items you can pick from are all 100 passes. So, you know, I don't know that the value is all that great for, for this particular item, but in some ways it's better than the Titans challenges. Okay, my third one here, and I still got one star, and I only got 72 dust. There is a really big range for the for the dust that you can get. So I'm at 244. That's my third fleece. I have to go get another set or yeah, <laughs> I have to get some more fleeces with by trading my NYX pack. So where is the NYX pack? Down here. That's not in alphabetical order, I noticed. Okay, so I need fleeces, not Titans challenges. So here's three fleeces. And now let's go open up more fleeces. This will be my third fleece. It's much easier for me to keep track because I'm exchanging them. Thank you. I got three stars for this one. I'm going to pick Amorphous' arms. I'd, I'd love the Harmony pack, but I found sometimes I can actually trade Amorpheus's arms to get three golden apples in return. So the Morpheus's arms is actually a better value. So we'll trade that. All right, let's open up another fleece. Please give me the divine. This is my third, my fifth one. I got two stars for this one. So, ooh, hmm. Golden apple or a horn of plenty. So I feel it's like uh, the horn of plenty is technically better because of divine special offers, but the golden apple is harder to get, at least for me. I'm actually gonna pick the golden apple. Some of you might be wondering, why are you doing that? Go for the horn of plenty. I'm going for the golden apple, okay. 
that and coat release day is coming up in a few days. That's another, that's a three star fleece. Thank you. Woohoo. Okay. That's six fleeces though. Can I get the divine yet? I think I got really spoiled in getting Baleos and, um, oh yeah, I have these two staffs left. I got spoiled, I got spoiled getting Baleos on my 11th try. Um, let's see. Here's another NYX pack going. So NYX, see, this isn't an alphabetical order. It goes Morpheus's Arms, Bonus Pack, Harmony Pack, NYX Pack, Timer. Unless it goes in order of how many you have in stock. That could be it too. Not really sure. Okay, so we need Golden Fleeces. That, that's an alphabetical order. Okay, use it. I got three more fleeces. All right, here's another one. This is my seventh because I've used two, two sets of scales and NYX packs. I've got two stars and I'm going to choose another golden apple. I have a lot of Prusias coats that I want to collect. So a lot of golden apples is really good for me. Okay. Another fleece. This is my eighth. Uh, no divine still. That's a three star fleece again. Another Morpheus's arms. I do have one exchange left. Um, I could probably trade a Morpheus's armor to actually to get some fleeces or Titan's challenges. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure. That's that's something that I really have to think about just because of the potential all the potential options that you have by trading a Morpheus's arm. So I don't just want to like throw it in there and then like, oh shoot, I should have actually traded for something else instead. So again I'm gonna go for the Achilles heel. Um I think that was my last fleece, wasn't it? Yes, shoot. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna end up maxing the meter on this, aren't I? I'm really surprised. The first love divine that I got, I had to max the meter on. Baleos, I did not have to max the meter, and I fully expected I'd have to do that for him. And for this divine, it looks like I'm gonna have to max the meter. So this is my last Nyx pack Themis scale combo and fleeces. I thought about saving this up, saving these in case there was um, the gemstones coming back sometime in the future but they're in the middle currently of re-releasing the, let me think about it for a minute. We've got the legendaries that they're still in the process of re-releasing, um, the mythological divines. So I think it'll be a while before we see the solars and the gemstones again. Hopefully it'll be enough time for me to save up again because aside from Coracious, my only other Holy Grail divine that I have left to get is a Jade. So, all right, here we go. Another golden fleece. All right, and no divine, but I got three stars. I'm doing really well. I'm doing better on the fleeces than I did on the Titans challenges or the hops in terms of the gifts that I'm getting. All right, here we go. This is, oh, did, did it say that I maxed the meter? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I don't think so, because I don't think I would have kept winning dust. Okay, no, I'm only at 924. Okay, I'm going to have to max the dust. I should... 24. If I get 100, I'll be okay. But if I get like 70 or something. All right. My last fleece. Don't make me touch my staffs. Please max out the meter. Give me enough dust. Give me enough. But is that enough dust? Oh boy. We'll find out. Did I get enough dust? Thank you so much. <laughs> that took a lot. That took, um, that was a total of 12 fleeces. So it takes 12 fleeces to max out the meter. At least for me it did. Because I think I saw somebody else say it took them 13. But it, it took me 12 because I had four NYX pack scale combos. And that gave me 12 fleeces. So I'm still happy about that. That's really not too bad for this divine. I did look back at my one Celtic divine that offers a Philosopher's Stone, and I think he drops that every three months. So if the Harris pack falls along that same pattern, it would probably be every three months for him. So let's go check him out real quick. He really is a, one of my favorite designs. He's really pretty. So how the Celtics work, make sure that you put them to bed every day. I'll board him in an EC in a little bit. You just click the divination button and hope that one of these lights up or more than one. None of these lit up, so he didn't find any letters. Once all of these letters are filled in, then he gives you the gift. Um, the gift that he gives you, it actually goes in order of how it's listed here. It's not a random gift. So once he completes his first prediction, he'll give me a Harris pack. And then the second prediction will be an Apollo's Lear. Then the third one will be an aging point. After he gives the aging point, he starts back over again with a Harris pack. So even though the drop rate itself, it's not like guaranteed that you'll get a gift on say April 25th or whatever, you do know which gift you're going to get each time. So long as you've been keeping track on that. So there's my Celtic divine, the technically third 
fourth divine. <laughs> I've won from this weekend because I won the two love divines. So real quick, I thought I would share with you guys my tips on how I went about saving up to get all four of the divines this weekend completely pass free as I didn't spend passes to buy any of these items. They were all items that I already had in my inventory. My major tip for you is just to save, 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 and save a lot. How I go about saving is that I really try to live by two rules. I say try because I have broken these rules in the past and you guys have seen me actually break one of these rules on video before. So the first rule is it needs to be a divine that I really, really want. For me, that means it needs to have a gift that I find beneficial to my game, it's valuable, and it has to have a decent drop rate. If we look at Balios, he offers a Nyx pack once a month guaranteed. Perfect gift, perfect drop rate. The Love Divines, they offer 20 passes once a month. Another perfect gift, another perfect drop rate. The Celtic Divine in the Golden Fleece offers a Harris pack and two other items that it cycles through. So it cycles through all of these items. They're not random which one you get when he does drop the gift. Uh, the only thing is that we don't yet know the drop rate just because it's a brand new divine and we haven't had it long enough to establish a drop rate. I'm just basing it off of the drop rate of another Celtic divine I have with a similar valued gift. He drops his gift about every three months. That's where I'm going with this one. It's not a bad drop rate for a three pass item. So for me, this one's fine. Now, the second rule is I need to have enough items needed to max out the dust meter. I think of the dust meter as a worst case scenario. For example, with the golden fleece offer this weekend, I read up in the forums that it was taking about 12 fleeces to max out the dust meter. If I had only had, say, two or three fleeces, I would say save the fleeces and accumulate more fleeces that you can eventually use in the future on an offer that you can max out the meter if need to. So for the fleeces, I did see that I had 12 fleeces in stock and it turns out I never got the divine from the item itself and I had to get the item from the dust meter. Same for the love divines. I had to max out the dust meter in order to get that first love divine. Balios was a bit of an exception to this because the amounts of dust I was reading was a little bit varied and I just wasn't quite sure if he would take 80 Titans challenges or less to get him. I had access to 59 TCs if I accessed my passes. So that one I just kind of took a leap of faith on, sort of broke the rule, and it turns out I did get lucky and I got him by opening the Titans challenge itself. I didn't have to rely on that dust meter. I have several times in the past opened items when I didn't have that many. The Divine Dust Meter, of course, is very new. We've only had it for a few months, but there were a few other times where, for example, Jade, several years ago, uh, he was in the Golden Fleeces. I opened 33 and I didn't get him. That would have been a really nice one to have the dust meter on. I spent loads of passes, loads of diamonds, and I did not get him. So I had to start over from scratch, building up my resources, and I didn't have the divine to help pay me back with that. Also with Croatius a few months ago, you guys did see me open up challenges to not get him. And I think he was also the first divine we had for the divine dust meter. I opened 27 challenges and I only filled that divine dust meter halfway. So I spent 27 Titans challenges. Uh, some of that was passes maybe. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I opened up 27 challenges to not get the divine and I had to start all over from scratch saving up my resources. So now you've got these two rules you can choose to live by to help you save up your resources. How do you get the resources so you can save them up? All three of these items, the Horns of Plenty, Titans Challenge, Fleeces, can be won as prizes in events and they can be gotten in the exchanges. You can also get all three of them by purchasing them with your Mezwing staff and by trading them with other items with the theme as a scale, which you saw me do with that Golden Fleece offer today. There are divines that offer these different items to their owners as a gift. I don't have them all memorized off the top of my head, but if you go to the Achievements menu, Special Horses page, you can look at all of the different divines and read up on the different gifts that they offer. You can also open these different items up to get the other items. So you saw that I could have chosen a Horn of Plenty as a prize when I opened up the Golden Fleece. For the Titans Challenge, you
you can get Horns of Plenty within a Titan's Challenge. You can get Titan's Challenge within a Titan's Challenge, as well as the Hermes Wing Staff. You can also get that item by opening Titan's Challenges. For the Horns of Plenty, you can get a hop within a hop. You can't, I at least have never gotten a fleece within a hop, but that's just my own experience. Maybe you can, and I just never seen it. And I have gotten a Titan's Challenge from a Horn of Plenty before as well. And the last way you can get one of these items is that you can stroke five Xanthos daily for the chance to win a Horn of Plenty. That's just something I recommend doing every day as it's the main way of how I get my Horns of Plenty. So that's all the tips I have for you. That's just kind of an outline version. Again, though, if you would like me to go into more detail and explain some of the things that I mentioned in a different video, please let me know and I can see about putting something together for that. Thank you all so much for joining me on this weekend full of special offers. This video won't be up until after the offers are over, but still best of luck to everybody for the hearts fight, which I do think ends tomorrow as I'm recording this. The special offers will also end tomorrow, but still best of luck to you guys, even though you won't see it until after those offers are already down. Congratulations to everybody who managed to get the divines that they wanted this weekend. And even if you didn't, don't worry, there will always be another chance to earn divines vines and you can also just start saving up now you've got a few tips that can hopefully help you out and you can start saving for those divines in the future so thank you guys so much for joining me this weekend and i will talk to you soon bye